This is the Houthi defense minister in a command center, planning to launch an attack inside Saudi Arabia and coordinating with his forces on the ground. According to the Houthi spokesman, it happened on August 25th and lasted for 72 hours. Specialized infantry units at the front line cordoned a large number of the aggressors' personnel in Najran as they managed to set up ambushes as per the plan. Our forces opened a way to allow the aggressor personnel to step into the ambush. The Houthis claim more than 500 people were killed and at least 2,000 captured. Some of them were wearing uniforms like this, with the Saudi National Guard logo. But many of these prisoners of war are what the Houthis are calling Yemeni nationals who have been lured and disillusioned by Saudi Arabia to fight against the Houthis. Also on display, these armored vehicles, which the Houthis say belonged to the Saudi military. Specialized units cut off the rear supply line of the enemy from the east and the west. After that, the cordon was sealed around this personnel from all sides. The infantry units turned the ambush into an all-out offensive. The Houthis have also made several other statements in this video, none of which Al Jazeera can independently verify. Meanwhile, Saudi officials have not responded to this video or the claims made by the Houthis. But for now, this appears to be more evidence that this conflict is likely to pose further challenges for Yemen and the region. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera.